Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Now this week our guest is a shining example of how Hollywood talent can transition into the video game world. Kyle Cooper has created opening title sequences for films like Spider-Man and Seven. Pretty good, but he's also now creating opening sequences for video games. And his latest project is Dark Watch from High Moon Studios. Kyle, welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. It's good to be here. Now, we talked about Dark Watch. Well, we have an exclusive look at the opening to the game. We want to take a look at Kyle's work first. Let's roll it. Evil. As old as time. Spreads like a plague. Corrupting the hearts of men. For millennia, there have been those who have stood against it. A secret organization to protect mankind. They are the front line in an unholy war. They are the Dark Watch. Tell you, well, that wants to make you play the game. Now, I love that. I mean, you've done so many of these title sequences. What's unique about this one? I saw there were some horses in there. I mean, some live action elements too. I, I always like to integrate live action. I, I like to shoot stuff, and and you know, a lot of people think that CG is easier than live action, but it's not like that. I'm a little bit more sort of experimental. And right. I love you know some of the stuff you've done. You know, you've done Spider Man. You know, you've done great title sequences for that. They're always so inventive. I mean, you know, sometimes people say they're even better than sometimes the films that they're attached <laughs> to. And they're these mini movies. But is there any difference between doing a you know a game opening and a movie opening, or you treat them the same? Metal Gear Solid Three was a lot different in the sense that it was interactive. I had right. never done that before. You know, the Metal Gear Solid Two. I just made a sequence and I delivered it to Hideo. Well, right. We worked together on it, obviously, but. Uh, that's, there's a whole different set of parameters for the production of a video game, but the, the thinking process is the same. The way that I approach solving the problem is exactly the same. Interesting, but you know, doing something interactive, I mean, is that, is that fun for you? One of the great things about the video games that you can make, you know, the, you know the, the player a part of it? It was fun, but I didn't really, I felt like I was at a disadvantage because I didn't understand, right. you know, and, and it's, it's kind of like I, I build these things in layers, so, you know, you, you build one layer of the live action, the edit maybe, and then you would have, apply graphics or integrate graphics, and the idea that the graphics could be changing, like I had this idea of these snakes, snake skeletons kind of swimming, and I had the idea that they could change direction, but sort of right. not knowing what it's going to look like when someone plays around with it, it it's hard to control every frame. You know, I like to control every frame and make every frame so beautiful. Do you, so you think, is that the future of Tile or that was kind of an experiment that you wouldn't do again? No, I'd do it again in a minute. <laughs> I think I'd be better qualified to do it again is the thing. Like, Hideo was the one that wanted it to be a direct, and he was pushing that. Right. And I guess initially I was a little bit re reluctant because I was, you know, confused. And, and uh, you know, Dark Watch was more... Um, uh, like a traditional title sequence because they wanted a prologue. My company is called Prologue now for obvious reasons. That's right. what, what I do. And so they have this prologue f for that game. And, and it's really just about, I was looking at all the drawings. I was looking at everything that they had made. And I like the idea that all the metal, all the, the designs from the game had like spikes on the horse's collar right. and, and spikes on his gun. So I was trying to like have it be like a transformer. Well, you get sort of, of inspired by sort of you know the, the world that they create, I guess. And yeah, that's. I mean, it's like here's the world, and it's like create a title for that, right? It's all about the research. It it's amazing work, and I know Tina and Laura have been talking to a lot of chatters about yeah. you know this uh, about Kyle. And well, we talked about we doing the interactive. Now that you sort of dipped in that, could you ever see yourself maybe in the future actually helping to create a video game from beginning to end? Yeah, I want to do that actually. I have a. Um, I have a story and I have a treatment and uh, and you have a lead character if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lead character. Oh, okay, just throw it out I think, there. That's interesting. So you're thinking about doing sort of long. I mean, do you want to do films too, or just games? Well, this thing that I this this I this uh, this idea came out of a video, an idea for a video game. Okay. Uh, it was an idea of this uh, something that happened to me when I was younger and wanting to kill things. And, and and so the whole the whole idea is just born out. What happened to you? You're gonna kill you. What happened? It's fine. Uh, did, well, it wasn't about anger that I wanted right. to kill. It was mad. There was just there was a lot of. Uh, I was exposed to some vermin that I... I, well, I don't want to give away too much of the thing, wow. but there was some... I would step back a little bit, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a question here from chat. Future 101 wants to know, if you could change any of your opening sequences for either a game or a movie, how would you change it? Or which sequence would it be? That's a tough question because that's the measure... That's of, what we ask here. That's, that's, the, the, that's a, hard hitting. 
There's nothing I would change about Seven. You know, Mission Impossible, there's uh, a couple of scenes. Like, there's a scene with Tom Cruise on the phone that's kind of pixelated. Like, I, I don't know if I would have pixelated it wow. the same way. Does that uh, detail you down to certain shots? Wow. And yeah, so and it bo it's like obsessive. It, it annoys me. So OCD could be helpful in your life. <laughs> it's, 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 exa it's what it is. It's, like, it's completely... Well, it's, but that's why people love you. I mean, you do such a great job on all your sequences. And we, we can't yeah. wait to see the next ones, Kyle. Nice Thanks for Thank you so much. Thanks all right, guys, well, make sure to stick around because after the break, we're kicking Laura out of the studio. Later. Where will she land? Find out right again. after this. Gotta go. Get out of there. Later. Kick her out of the Thanks show. Out.